All right, welcome. This is your homework solution for week 9, Tuesday, October 1st. Here you're going to be finding the measurement of the interior angles. You have 1, 2, and 3. All these shapes here are triangles. And we know that the triangle, due to the total interior angle theorem, that the total angles inside a triangle has to be what? 180. So, let, exactly like what I wrote, inside angles should add up to 180. So, number one, a lot of students freak out. Please understand that the box here is what? 90 degrees. Okay? What are your angles here? 30, 90, and X. So, 30, X, and 90. Okay? Equals to 180. Combine like terms so that 90 and 30 becomes 120. You see how it comes all straight down? Subtract 120 to both sides, you get x equals to 60. Okay? Two, please understand that the inside angles add up to 180. So you have 65 plus x plus 40 equals to 180. Combine like terms, so 65 plus 40 equals to 105. Subtract 105 to both sides, you get x equals 275. Number three, the inside angles here add up to 180. It is 35 plus x plus 45 equals to 180. 30, combining like terms, 35 plus 45 becomes 80, plus x equals to 180. Subtract 80 to both sides, bring everything down, you get x equals to 100. These are your values of your x's. Okay, you need to be able to do one, two, and three if you want to do four, five, and six. Okay, four, same thing. This is a triangle, and you're trying to find the value of the interior angle. Okay, so we know that the inside angle adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so I rewrite the equation. Okay, if you don't understand here, let me show you. So this is x. This is x. This is x plus 60. That's the second angle. This is your second angle. This is your third angle. Third angle. If you write it, remember the equation that I gave you in class? You could think about this as angle A. You could think about this as angle B. And you could think about this as angle C. And we know due to the uh, total angles in a triangle, we know that triangle A... Sorry, angle A plus angle B plus angle C has to have the sum of 180 degrees. Okay? So combining like terms, uh, I distributed. So there's the 1 here. 1 times x is x. 1 times 65 is 65. Now you can combine like terms. The x's go together and the 65 and the 25 goes together. x plus x becomes 2x. 65 plus 25 becomes 90. Okay, this becomes a two-step problem now. Subtract 90 to both sides. Okay, uh, why? Because this is going to, let me show you, this should cancel out, right? Okay. You get 2x equals to 90. 180 minus 90 is 90. Divide by 2 to both sides. Okay, this should cancel out. You get x equals to 45. So the x value here is 45. Okay, number five, again, let me write it for you because some of you are weird out with this problem. This is angle A, this can be angle B, and this can be angle C. And we know the formula for the total interior angles are angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180. Okay, so what is angle A? 48. What is angle B? X. What is C? X minus 40. Boom. There you go. Okay, these cubits, there's really a 1 in front. So 1 times X is X, 1 times negative. 44 is just negative 44. That's how it looks like. You're going to combine the like terms. The x's go together. 48 minus 44. Be careful. It's a minus 44 here. So x plus x becomes 2x. 48 minus 44 becomes 4. 
Subtract 4 to both sides. Okay. That should cancel. That's why. You get 2x equals to 178. Divide by 2 to both sides. You get x equals to 88. There you go. Uh, let's do number six. Okay, I'm not gonna re I'm gonna not I'm not gonna write the equation, right? The angle, but you know it's angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals to 180. So that's how it should look like: 73 plus x plus x minus 11. Okay, angle A plus angle B plus angle C equals 180. What I did for four and five. Okay, distribute. So this just is x and minus 11. Combining like terms, the x plus x and the 73 minus 11. So x plus x becomes 24. 73 minus 11 is 62. Subtract 62 to both sides. Oops, sorry. Subtract that to both sides. 62 minus 62 cancels out. You get 2x. 180 minus 62 is 118. Divide by 2 to both sides. So this should cancels out you get x equals to 59. There you go. Uh, those are all your solutions uh, for Tuesday.